So we are back to seeing some green in the market after dropping back down to $36,700. I am very bullish on the entire market here. We're seeing Bitcoin up about 1.6% today. And we are seeing some other larger altcoins follow as well here. Some of my favorites, we have Render up 4.3% here. We have Oasis Protocol up 3.8%. And then we have some other cryptos as well here. We have XRP up 1.2%. We have Casper up 2.8%. And so Casper does look ready for another leg up. And then we also have Solana up 5.2%. So we're going to be going through some of these cryptocurrencies, what my thoughts are on the current market right now, and what I am looking for in the altcoin market as well here. And so we do have some news that the Fed is possibly looking at a rate cut by spring if inflation continues to slow down. And so this would be bullish for the markets here. We had a lot of rates increases over the last year or two. And so looking at a possibility of a rate cut by spring would align with the Bitcoin halving. And so that'd be very bullish for cryptocurrencies and the entire market. And so let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin here on Twitter here. I mentioned that Bitcoin is looking ready to head over $40,000. That is my target here over the next few days. And so we can see here we had Bitcoin at about $37,322. And then we did start to see this actually take place here. And so you can see it did start pumping up here. We did get to about $38,380 five dollars roughly there and now we are on a pullback however i do expect this to continue over the next few days we should get to the top of this channel here if not break out from that and head up to forty thousand dollars and then i think we will see some resistance there and so this is just something to keep in mind here if you're interested in following me on twitter you can follow me at altcoin hero there as well and so I'm very bullish on the overall market for cryptocurrencies. However, I think that altcoins are going to provide the best return. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the crypto total market cap, excluding Bitcoin here. There's a very interesting trend happening. And so altcoins, I think, is where the best returns are going to be made in this upcoming bull cycle. There's a lot more to choose from here than, say, back in 2017, where there was less than 1,000. Now there's a lot more altcoins. There's some that are very small. There's some that are scams. And so just make sure you're careful out there with what ones you're looking at. Make sure to do your own research and dig into those cryptocurrencies before investing your own money. And so let's go ahead and take a look at this chart here. If we zoom out a little bit, we can see... Here's the bull cycle back in 2017 to 2018, where we had Bitcoin hit about um, $20,000. And so we can see that was the bull cycle. We can see here this is green. And then we do go into this red phase here, which is the bear market. And so we are in that same phase here. Right now, we've been in that since about middle of July in 2022. And so if we measure that distance, how many days that is here, we can see this one right now is roughly about um 616 days and so our current cycle right now that we're in for the bear cycle now is about um, 511 days so if we match that same bear market we'd be looking at a bullish cycle we'd see that start to turn green around the middle of march and so that'd be very bullish again that aligns with the um, Bitcoin having as well here and so one thing I am noticing if we zoom in um, down in this area back in at the end of the bear cycle previously we can see we started to break out right and so we're at the top of this channel here and then once we made that transition then we've seen the transition into green on this indicator here and so if we zoom out again and then we go take a look at the current mic market cycle right now we are seeing a very similar um, trend happening and so we can see again we're at the top of that channel here again we're possibly breaking out right we're seeing a lot of candlesticks now that doesn't mean that we could drop back down however we haven't been at the top of this channel at all and so that's just a signal that we possibly could be going into a bull market here with altcoins and so this is something that I am keeping an eye on here I think this could be very bullish here now we don't have to go that whole 610 days we could start to see that transition happening here as we head it towards that um, bitcoin having event and so let's go ahead and take a look at some more information here as well another bullish indicator is that they are um, minting usdt and so over the last couple of weeks here we can see on the november 22nd and november 27th here they have minted a billion dollars of usdt that means that new cash is coming into um, the system we're seeing more people purchase tether 
And then with that tether, they are buying different cryptocurrencies, whether that is Bitcoin or altcoins. And so this is a very bullish indicator as we continue to see more and more money flowing in here. And so we can see over the last seven days, more and more money is continuing to flow in. We are at 88 billion here. And now we're at about 89 billion. And so even in the last week, we've seen a billion dollars of Tether be minted here. And we can see if we look at the bigger picture, as we can see here back in 2020, and then the 2021 where the bull cycle was, we saw a, lot, a big increase in USDT. Again, now we are seeing this start to curl up here where they are starting to mint more USDT. That is a signal that we are heading into a bull market. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some altcoins. That I think I'm going to do very well next cycle here. And so the first one is going to be Oasis Protocol here. And so this is Rose. I've talked about this in previous videos as well here. And so we can see this currently has a market cap of about 570 million, which I'm very surprised about. And I'm surprised this is not well over a billion dollar market cap. And so this is a cryptocurrency that I think is under a lot of people's radars. I think this cryptocurrency could do very well here. And so right now it's, it's starting to go up a little bit. It's starting to get more attention. They do have large partnerships. They are partnered with Meta. This is a privacy layer one cryptocurrency. They have partnerships with Google as well. I think it's just kind of doing a lot of work behind the scenes and really hasn't got the attention that it deserves. So the next cryptocurrency I'm going to be talking about here is EMP. Again, this is another cryptocurrency that could do very well. They are actually working with Rose and Chainlink, both very large cryptocurrencies. And so I think this could do very well here since this is relatively small still. We're still under a $17 million market cap. And so they are working on developing an easy to use toolkit for Web3 developers. And so they have a low code toolkit, a modular design, an intuitive automation and real time data, and then account abstraction. And so again, this cryptocurrency is really focusing on something that people are going to want to use if you want to build your own cryptocurrency and make it easier than having to know all the coding and all that. You can use EMP here. And so we can see more information on that as well here, as I mentioned. Then an exciting call with Chainlink today to discuss their cross-chain interoperability protocol and how we can work together to create a solution utilizing CCIP to trustlessly transmit messages to Oasis Protocol's Sapphire. And so this was back in August here when they had that discussion. So that just shows that they are working with these other cryptocurrencies and how to integrate. And so I think this is very important. They're not just in their own silo doing their own thing. They're trying to integrate and be um, at the core of all these larger cryptocurrencies. And so I think that's very good and promising for that cryptocurrency. And so the last one I want to talk about here is Ter Terra. And so this cryptocurrency, again, is on the smaller side. We're at about a $63 million market cap. Now this has done well over the last week or two. We can see that it is quite the spike there. However, I feel like this is still under a lot of people's radar. There's a lot of people that have not heard of this. This is very similar to Caspa. It is on the block DAG. Um, and so they are able to pr produce a lot of different transactions. And so that's something that I think will do very well here. And so let's take a look at what they do. As we can see here, they have about 5,000 transactions per second with a four second finality latency. And so that's very quick. I think this is a cryptocurrency that could do very well. They are also focusing on AI and smart contracts. And so this ecosystem could really take off here. Um, again, I think this is one that is undervalued and I think will do very well in the bull market, especially since it is on the smaller side. There's a lot more potential for gains, whereas like Caspa, due to the size that it is over a billion dollar market cap, um, it still has a lot of room for growth. Obviously, we could see a potential $50 billion market cap for Caspa, but um, for Terra here, if we even if we see a billion dollar market cap, that'd be very good returns. And so if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate you watching. I hope to see you in the next video.